Alright, so, how was it? This time, it was very, very intense. Very, 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 very intense. Um, I had a, I had, when you were working on my sacral chakra, when I told you I started to tear up a little bit. Yeah. I felt something like, I didn't even know I was putting a wall up, like in my heart, not letting anybody in. Mm -hmm. It's crazy that things could be brought to your attention through Reiki, through to your awareness. I didn't even, and I felt it like it just spoke to me. Like it said, like it showed me like I was putting a wall up and I wasn't letting nobody in, nor was I trying to, you know, reach out and be loved, you know what I mean? Like I didn't know how to be loved or something. That's what it all wow. said in that one moment. In my wow. head, man, it was just like just waving and bending like you were just, all of them inside my head, man. It was intense. <laughs> and my root chakra was kind of hurting. Like, it was just so, so much movements of just, you know, like jolts, like, like fear and spurts were just, you know, like letting go or something. It was intense, man. It was really, really heavy. Like, my left side and my right side feel so, felt so different during the session. It's, it's, I never can explain it, man. It seemed like, my, my left side is like almost excessive and my right side is deficient or mm -hmm. vice versa. It's like I almost can't tell, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But it always, it felt a split down the middle of the whole session, dude. Wow. That was intense, man. Yeah, your left so, side yeah. is definitely the excessive side. Yeah, um, I also noticed something very particular today with this whole uh, meridian um, isolation stuff that I've been doing lately. I'll send energy and um, basically I will visually look for the blockage, you know, through the, the, the involuntary movement. And um, I will pick a meridian, like, uh, like obviously I, I noticed that a lot of it was coming from the inside of your leg. Um... Like, that's, you'll see when I show you the footage, um, it was mainly coming from the inside of the leg, and once I targeted the bladder meridian, which starts at the big toe, and goes, like, up the inside of the leg, and I think, like, maybe around, like, the back to, and then back up the front, like, up to here, and then it uh, uh, goes around the head a little bit, too. I noticed that that was, um definitely being affected the most and definitely had the most just blockages and excess in it out of all the meridians okay and you said it from the big toe correct yes okay another story a ninth grade i broke my big toe oh really and, um, yeah i had surgery and i have a screw and i always wanted to wanted to like i wanted to, i wondered what you know, titanium and all that stuff affects, like, your energetic huh. system. Because now I have a screw in my toe. Is it your left one or your right one? My left. I knew it. The, that's the one that was reacting more, too. That's very, very interesting. Yeah. Surgery alone is going to tear your auric field as well. So that's yeah. very interesting. I mean, it's all patched up now, and the blockage is pretty much completely alleviated. Uh, because towards the end of the session, I really started to do a lot of third eye stuff. Um, and because it was feeling pretty tight, um, that's why I feel physically, I can't even feel it physically, dude. My, my third eye is so, 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 like, at first, it's either, if it was, used to be terrible, like, not controllable uh -huh. daydream, and almost to the point where I can't even uh, imagine, you know what I mean? I had a lot of third eye trouble, too. Yeah, it's definitely pretty uh, deficient, depleted right now. Uh, next session, maybe we'll do something, I want to do something fairly relatively soon, so maybe we'll do something like Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, one of those days. Um, That's perfect. Um, and I want to do a lot of heavy, um, higher chakra cleansing. Um, because that's usually something I tend to stay away from because it's very, very technical, finesse work that needs to be done up there. For just anyone, you know, any any person that you're working on, higher energy points. It's, and I always want to make sure that I work on the lower points before I go to the higher points to make sure that lower stuff is much more integrated and, and, and cleansed and healed, you know, because 
that's the foundation of yourself. You want to make sure that that is strong before you go and start fucking around with shit that is involves being spaced out. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude. Like, this was my... I feel, actually, incredibly more balanced, man. I wanted to Good. Uh, thank you for that. You know what I mean? Like, of course. I feel more... Clear. Even, like, literally right after the session, I thought I was going to take a while to, like, get back, you know, draw back in. Mm -hmm. Dude, I feel like... Good. You know what I mean? Good. I feel like I saw the day I can, you know, do a couple of things for myself and just hang out a bit. Like, I feel like I actually fine. And another cool thing I um, realized during this session is that meridian blockages are like a river and the blockage is like a rock in the middle of the stream in the definitely. path of the river. Definitely. You know? Yeah. Definitely. But like, chakra blockages is almost like a dam build up. Yeah. Like a whole big dam and it just energy just hitting it and hitting it and hitting because when you hit my sacral chakra it was just an intense like just almost like I could feel like a wetness the energy was so you know wow. physical yeah it just felt like something just broke free you know what I mean yeah that's a great so, analogy man it felt good dude God. I'm still just like I'm still like in you know wow mode